Today I have for you something which is the essence of the DUI project. This is cheap custom made sunbed which is simple, durable and will last forever. I was tired of repairing or buying new sunbeds every few years. They can be easily bought, they are cheap, but they also have a poor quality. As you can see, such sunbeds are really impermanent in my moderate climate, where there are a lot of rains during summer, autumn and spring. I like wooden projects and wood as a material, but not this time. This time I've decided to make the sunbed as durable as possible. So this is my material for a sunbed. Those steel profiles are leftovers from some of my other works. As you can see they are covered with rust, but it doesn't matter, rust can be sanded and removed, so don't let the appearance of the profiles to fool you. They are perfectly fine as building material. I must admit that I like such works in which I'm reusing leftovers from other projects. As I said, the essence of the DUI. First step was to cut metal into the correct pieces. I've taken measurements from a wooden destroyed sunbed and then cut the pipes into desired pieces. As you can see, there aren't many parts and they are just simple straight sections. Easy. Second step was to sand the pieces from rust. It was not only needed for later painting, but it's recommended to remove the rust before welding uh, all those metal pieces. The conduction of electricity will be better and the welding will be easier. Next step was to pull all parts together using clamps and metal magnets and weld them. This, as usual, I've made on my garage floor. One thing to remember if you, like me, don't have a special welding table. It's crucial to do proper leveling of all elements, without that welded parts won't be straight. Ok, frame parts are ready, so then I've mounted all of them together. I've used big screws which pivot to mine elements of the sunbed. Now it's time for the trickiest part of the build. As you can see, the typical wooden sunbed has screws here which allows you to unscrew them and remove the fabric and put a new one, in case if it's needed. In a metal sandbed it is impossible to put such screws, so I did something different. I cut the metal and did the mechanism as you can see now on the video. This allows me to put the fabric on a metal frame. It can also be used in the future to remove the fabric and to put new one. Maybe it's not a very sophisticated solution, but hey, it works. Last thing to do was to paint the sand, but I've used typical rust oleum paint. And this is the final product. As you can see, it's working, it looks good, and it is really durable. Oh, and it has one drawback, however. It's heavier than a wooden sandbed, but who cares after all? It is standing on the grass, it is a sunbed, and it does its job perfectly. Thank you for watching, I hope you find this video inspirational, and goodbye!